Hey everyone, Cody here. And I just wanted to share a quick story of something that happened last night and the importance of memorizing scripture. So I went to see a neighbor of mine and we've become close over the last year um, trying to be, you know, a good neighbor, as the Bible says, you know, a literal, uh, you know, loving my neighbor. So we've actually become uh, friends over the last year. And I went to go see him just because I hadn't seen him in a while and then, you know, just see how he and his family were doing. So went over there and we started talking and he was, you know, he's had some health challenges over the last year anyway. Um, so that was one of the reasons I wanted to check on him. And when I went over, he was telling me that he actually had, he found out that he has stage one cancer. And so, you know, to, to kind of find that out on top of the stuff he's already been struggling with, I was like, you know, I felt bad, but, you know, and, and his family is just really going under a lot of, you know, stress because of this. Like his wife is having to work a little more because, um, she has to kind of pick up the slack because he's in pain. Um, so there's actual pain associated with it. Um, and then he's, you know, already had the health challenges, so he hasn't been able to work as much, um, you know, stress with some of the kids and some of the extended family. So just a lot going on. And, um, you know, I just, I felt terrible, but listening to them, I'm like some verses came to mind as they were telling me because the wife was just telling me she was kind of worried and anxious and stressed. Um, and then he, you know, he was also telling me that, you know, even though he, he's like, he was telling me that even though, you know, he has this diagnosis of cancer, he feels very confident that he's going to, you know, pull through, that it's not going to get any worse, that they're actually going to get, be able to get over this. And he was telling me like kind of the treatment plan and stuff like that. And so I wanted to pray for them, but before I prayed for them, the Holy Spirit kind of gave me two verses while they were sharing their story. So the first verse was Matthew 6.34. And 6.33 and 34 kind of go together, but mostly 34. So 36.33 is to seek first his kingdom and righteousness and all these other things will be credited to you. And then 34 is to not worry about tomorrow because tomorrow has enough trouble of its own. Um, so that was kind of the verse I wanted to, sh the first one that I shared with them, like, hey, don't worry about all of the future stuff. Like, just just focus on right now, right? Because tomorrow is going to have enough trouble of its own. And if you worry about tomorrow, now you're worrying about today and tomorrow. Um, but then this other verse or set of verses came to mind. And the verse that came to mind is Philippians 4, 7, which says, and the peace of, of God that transcends all understanding um, will come upon you. Or I, I paraphrased it a little bit. but um, So that was the verse I wanted to share. But Philippians 4.6 actually ties in better with uh, Matthew 6.34 because Matthew, uh, or sorry, Philippians 4.6 actually says that, you know, with don't be anxious in anything, but with prayer and petition and thanksgiving, give all of your requests to God. And then Philippians 4, 7 says, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, you know, will come upon you. So those verses um, kind of together, they, they came to me while I was, was speaking to them. And, you know, that's what we call like a word of, of wisdom. And so I shared that and he just, you know, the husband and wife were just like, wow, thank you for sharing that. And the wife, you know, wrote them down. She's like, I'm going to, you know, I want to memorize that. And, you know, the husband was like, wow, it's crazy that, you know, you can do that. And obviously I'm not perfect at it. You know, I just, you know, couldn't remember all of the words just sharing it with you, but I had an idea. And I think it's important to, to memorize scripture. And I'm not saying you have to remember the whole Bible, right? But I, I do think that there are key verses or, you know, verses that stick out that would be super beneficial to memorize um, out of the Bible. So generally, uh, and I was telling him this, that, you know, the Holy, it's harder for the Holy Spirit to highlight verses in us to share with others if we ourselves don't know the Bible. And so it's, it's important to memorize scripture. And again, I'm not saying you have to memorize the whole Bible, but you know, if you're reading the Bible already and you know, you're reading a chapter and certain verses stick out to you, there's probably a reason, you know, there's probably a reason that it sticks out and you're like, oh, this is, I feel like this is an important verse. Every time you read that, uh, you read the Bible and something sticks out, write it down. So what I was telling him that I do is I actually have, I, and I'm going to, it's a self plug, but I actually have a journal that I made, um, on Amazon. There's a link to it in the description. It's called the Revenant. Um, I don't know. It's called like the Reverend 
remnant recorder or something like that. It's I just gave it some really uh, over dramatic name, but it's basically just a viable verse tracker. So you write down you know where the verse is, and then you write down what the actual verse is, what the date, so that you can start to memorize scripture. And I was telling him this. I was like, you know, it's very. I think it's important because if you write them down, if you just put it in your app and you you highlight it you may never go back and look or you might go back later if you're if you happen to read the same section but if you write it down in a separate notebook if you're writing it down uh there a couple things happen the first is that one you're connecting that verse with your your brain so you're using different parts of your brain because first you're going to try to memorize it so you're putting it into the storage but also you're writing it down so you're also connecting the action to the memorization. So you're, you know, you're writing it down to, to help kind of uh, set it, right? And what my dad always told me was, my dad, my stepdad was a respiratory therapist. And he told me that he struggled in school to memorize things. Um, so what he did is he actually wrote things twice. So he would read something and then he would write out his notes and then he would go and write it down again, just to really help cement it in his brain because he was connecting that action of writing with the memorization. So, you know, obviously memorizing is very important, but also the other part to that, the thing that it also does is that now you have a copy of it for the future. So you can go back and look at all those important verses that you wanted to memorize and you don't have to scroll through your app to try to remember or you know you don't have to go into all your saved app and just scroll through. You literally have a copy of it right there written by your own hand of the important verses that you found and you can learn it over time. So if you memorize those verses, if you have a date, you can be like, oh yeah, I remember that I did that. So anyway, um, that was kind of the story I wanted to share that they were just very blown away by the fact that I was able to share those verses with them because one, they were relevant verses. They, they were like, wow, thank you so much that that hit, you know, that kind of hits the nail on the head, but two, it inspired them to want to read the Bible and read those verses and maybe start memorizing scripture. So that's the power of memorizing scripture. And again, you don't have to memorize the whole Bible, but key verses like that really helps cement it. And what sounds more honest and authoritative. Uh, you know, I think the Bible says this, or yeah, it says in Matthew 6, 34, that, you know, seek first, or 33, seek first uh, his kingdom and righteousness. So, you know, it sounds more authoritative. There's more weight to your to your argument or even, you know, just the persuasion um, when you know the, the verse and the chapter. It, it just sounds, you sound like you know what you're talking about. And it's not about us, right? It's not about be sounding important. But what the, what I'm trying to convey here is that it's important because now it makes other people interested in the Bible. And so that's kind of what um, I guess the importance of it is, is, is getting other people to want to read the Bible because it's still relevant today. So ultimately that's it. Um, I hope this video finds somebody and it, and it makes a difference and just, yeah, the importance of memorizing scripture cannot be understated. And I had to be reminded of that because I haven't been doing as good a job of it. So it was really a good reminder for me too. Um, but that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.